video with DIYing our mahogany wardrobe. I'm Luke. And we're both DJs, we both work in the music industry. I also work as a sound engineer. I'm a music producer and a DJ, and we're about to embark on a journey to do our wardrobes. Yes, and I've done like previous DIY projects around the house. This is the first one that we're both doing it, so it's gonna be interesting. As you can see here, we've got our two samples from Lick. Uh, the top one is white 04, and the bottom one is white 02. And what one do you prefer, Nadia? I think we went with this one, didn't we? Yeah. 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 So it's kind of like a, a, a white with grey undertones. So we're going to see how this goes and yeah, it'll probably take us a couple of days. So yeah. very excited. Uh, how are you feeling? I'm ready. I'm excited. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel by the end of it, but a little bit apprehensive. This is a huge, huge project. We have to do the inside of the doors as well. And then this is actually going to be quite a big job because we're planning to do the whole wardrobe. But we are ready for it. And thanks to Lick, we've been able to put this together and um, finally, finally paint the wardrobes. I really can't stress how important preparation is, just making sure you have the ultimate smooth finish for the paint to go on. We have filled up a lot here at the moment. As I've just shown you, we've literally filled up all the holes um, and right now this is dry and we just need to sandpaper it. Like I said, I'm using a 240 grit. And just by doing that actually, it's already gone really smooth. This is the situation right now. We put cups of tea, finish the biscuits. Don't worry, we didn't just eat all these. I'll like two in there. I stopped drinking that because that's got dust in it. That is an interesting drill bit. So that's a drill hole. And you're gonna have the TV here. Yeah. And we're gonna make sure that all the cables are hidden behind a hole here and then run the cables through there so they're out of the way and it's nice and tidy. I thought I would take a moment to show you all the products that we're going to be using. We've had some packages here from Lick. Very kindly have supplied us with some supplies. Biodegradable dust sheet. So Lick is of course environmentally friendly. So that is why we are using their products. Looking at here, we've got environmentally friendly masking tape. We've got some um, roller handles here. And to go with that, we've got these roller sleeves. We've got four... Um, cutting in brushes, so they call them the magic wand. You can see everything's made out of wood, so no plastic in sight. And then you might be thinking, well, the tray's plastic. No, they are eco-friendly, plant-based, and biodegradable. Now, and here is what we've been waiting for, paint. Hey. So we have gone for two painting. So it says, now you see me, now you don't. This is called Zinza um, Shellac Primer. Now this is a tin that I used on a previous paint job, so there's a little bit left. It's quite runny. You can hear it's literally like water. The whole point of using this is that we don't need to sand at all. Obviously we've sanded out rough bits on the wardrobe. We're gonna try and do three coats of this inside and outside, and then we're gonna do two coats of this on top. So there it all is, and we're gonna start getting set up. Literally feels like a normal dust sheet and I think it's just really worth buying stuff that is biodegradable and good for the environment because it literally feels like plastic. Okay, so I just thought I'd show you the state of the room because I don't think I've shown you yet. But um, yeah, I've masking taped all this down now. That is our bed that we've got on top of each other and that's my dressing table. We're about to use the roller and the wand. What the? This is the brush, one and a half inch. Nice brush. It is really a nice brush. Yeah, it feels really good to use this roller. It's going on really well with the paint. Now this shellac primer is very, very watery, so please be careful when applying paint with a paint brush. If you get any drip lines, make sure you go over them as quickly as possible. Where we're at at the moment, I've started on this side. 
and then Luke's over here and you've done quite a lot you've done all the inside of that door as well yeah the inside of the door is done and it's yeah. already dry what we're noticing is because there's so many different it's quite intricate the, the wardrobes and there's different layers so getting the brush first and making sure you're cutting in and doing that first and then doing the roll the roller afterwards seems to be the best way to go Hey everyone, so me and Luke have been busy painting away, having cups of tea. I actually have to go and DJ in a couple hours and Luke's off to the cinema. So we are stopping here. I did all that on the side. Hey everyone, so it's our third day today. We've done this much yesterday with the um, first coat. So yeah, it's taken a bit longer than we thought. I had this vision that I thought it was all gonna be done in one day, three coats of shellac primer, but we've just had some breakfast. Luke just went out to get some hobnob. So yeah, we need some snacks and energy because it's gonna be a long day. So we had a spillage. We got pee on it. What are we doing? We're still using it to quickly fill these in before it dries. <laughs> Madness. It really is so satisfying to watch this in a really fast time speed. I wish I could paint this fast, but sadly I cannot. Hey, so we are having a break because it's been a few hours. It's literally taken me two hours to just paint the inside of this. I'm just taking a quick video to show you that this is what we're doing in between the breaks. These bags are so good. We don't have to use clean film and then it just keeps it airtight. Amazing! So here is a quick example between first coat and second coat of primer. Hey everyone, so just for some context, we started this project about a week ago now um, and life really just got in the way, which happens, it's all right. But yes, this is the stage we're at now. We have pretty much done the second coat of primer um, and you can see which cupboards need the second coat. So this is still the first coat but you can see the difference here, right? It's a huge difference. It's like 9 p.m. today on a Monday, and we're gonna try and just go as long as we can to just finish all this and hopefully start on the lick paint tomorrow, because I'm not gonna lie, it's been, a, it's been a journey, but it's been fun and the result is worth it. We have completed the second layer of shellac primer. We're really excited to get started on the lip paint. Obviously we've not been working on it every day, but it's just like we've literally been living in our second bedroom, which, we, which we're which we like really glad we've got, but now we're like, we just miss Yeah, I miss think we bedroom. kind of underestimated the sheer amount yeah. of work it's gonna, gonna take. Yeah, that's where we're at. It's probably about 11 p.m., right? We've got to get up for work tomorrow, so yeah. see ya. It's so soft. Hey everyone, sorry don't mind me there. I, I've just woken up from a bit of a daze. We are finally started with a look. It feels like it's been forever that this has just been sitting here, but hey, we're gonna start with it now. So I'm just gonna give it a little jiggle. A nice screw top cap. Ooh. And it's a nice color, isn't it? Yeah, it is a nice color. Um, Luke came up with a really good idea that we'll just do the uh, front of the wardrobe so that we at least can just get our stuff in here and do the inside of it later. We are in a bit of a timeline at the moment. So when painting with white paint and top of white primer, you might want to make sure that you've got enough light in the room. I personally found it was a lot easier to do this in the daytime just because of um, in the nighttime, you'd have shadows and things that make it a little bit difficult to see. So just a hot tip there. And on the left of that image, you would have seen the first coat of white 04 and the right was the second coat of shellac primer. So a huge difference. Hey, hey, this is where we're at. <laughs> we have done the first coat of paint. Um, we really like the finish of it. It's got like a nice shine. I think we just were hoping for it to be a bit darker, but yeah, we really love the finish. It looks really smooth. And you can't tell at all that it was really ugly mahogany. It's just a quick update. So we've decided to make a slight adjustment to the color of our wardrobe. We've got a south facing 
bedroom here so a lot of light floods in so we just wanted something a little bit darker with a bit more warmth to it so we've decided to go for grey too which has just arrived here uh, thank you Lick for that that came really fast we've had to move the bed back into the bedroom but it's fine because I think today we should be able to get at least the first coat done the paint's really easy to work with it's nice and thick it goes around a long way So we're here painting and you can see that um, this is where the grey paint has started and you can see the difference between the white. It has got lilac undertones. It really depends on what angle you're looking from. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. from here, it looks like a nice light stony grey, but when you turn on this way, it's definitely got more hints of purple in it. So I think it really depends what way, where, where the sun's mm. getting it from. We really did notice a difference straight away as soon as we started painting on the first coat of grey 02 on top of our first coat of white 04 it instantly became a bit darker which is exactly what we were looking for in such a bright sunny room. When you uh, start painting it, it goes, it's really light to begin with and then it goes quite dark where the paint is uh, settling in so it will look like that for like at least three to four hours. And then it will look and like then that. it will look like this. So right now in the picture, point to three versions of the So paper. this is how it starts. And it, that's how it looks when you pour it out of the, <laughs> so the tin. And then it goes really dark where the, the paint is obviously really wet and it needs to sink into the wood. And then leave it for a little while. Don't be alarmed by that because it doesn't stay that color. And then it goes to a, the perfect color, which is what we have. That's after three to four hours. We're going to do a second coat of it. Um, so yeah, that's just a disclaimer with the paint process. Don't mind me over here. Oh, I'm doing neck abs, neck, neck, crunch. <laughs> neck crunches. <laughs> So we're starting on hopefully what is the final day. This is where we're at with the first coat. I'll do a little um, up close shot in a sec. But yeah, it's been a journey. Luke is literally making a cup of tea. Got some orange dark chocolate. Let's go and see a closer look. So here is a slightly closer look on the wardrobes. You can see that they are a bit patchy. I think it's just because it's a light color, it's really hard to tell when you're painting it on white, but Hey, um, that's what the second coat's for. We are loving the color and yeah, onto the second coat. So yeah, we are almost there with the cupboards and this crazy DIY project. At this point, we really have been painting for a good few weeks now, so I cannot stress enough how satisfying it was painting this final coat of paint and being so excited to see the final result. Once it's all dried, we were just so ready for that moment. We are literally covered in paint and we've come to the end. Oh! About That's still drying that one. Uh, 20 cups of teas later, maybe like four packets of biscuits. <laughs> uh, My stomach is not liking me right two now. Two takeaways and we're finally done. I mean, we literally did such a smooth finish. Come on now. That's still drying, that's why it's patchy, but that's the finish look. And yeah, we're just really happy with the result. Um, well, I say result, but tomorrow we will actually take all the yellow tape off and actually see the final result. So stay tuned. I'm off to DJ in three hours and we will do this tomorrow, wait for it to dry and we will show you the final, final result. Hey everyone, so I'm gonna start taking off some of the masking tape inside my wardrobe because I really wanna put my stuff back. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna show you a little time lapse of me doing that. Hey everyone, I thought I would show you the final result here for our wardrobes. And this is what they look like in natural daylight. So you can see how smooth the surface is. So we've even created a little bookshelf corner here for where we have painted. I'm really glad that you can see it in the daytime as well because it changes 
as the sun comes through the room. We finally finished our wardrobes and we're really, really happy with the result. And I guess it's been like a month or so now since we've actually finished the painting. That's it. And the paint's really um, exactly what we was looking for. Mm -hmm. We've done two coats and I mean, the finish is perfect. It's, it's great and it's really made a massive difference in the room. I mean, how did you feel about this? It's so much brighter in here. So thank you to Lick for all the paint, for the paint brushes, the rollers. Um, we couldn't have done it without you guys. It's been a, a eventful two months. It's been longer than we expected, but the finish that we've got from the paint has made it so much worth it. Um, and yeah, we're really happy with the end result.